Hello everyone, my name is Shantanu Arora and I run a music academy in New Delhi and Gurgaon by the name of Shan's School of Music. Today, we will be discussing about a few exercises that beginners can use to get started on the guitar. Let's have a look at them. The first one is called Plain Horizontal Inversion. The second is called Alternate Horizontal Inversion. And the final one is called Vertical Inversion. Before I get started with these exercises, I'd like to present a few details before you. The fingers are numbered as 1, 2, 3 and 4. That is the index, middle, ring finger and the pinky. Thumb plays a pivotal role in assisting the fingers by putting pressure at the neck of the guitar. The strings are numbered from the bottom and not from the top. The first string is this, the second is this, the third string is this, fourth is this, fifth is this and the last string, which is the sixth string, is this one. The spaces that you can see are called frets and they're numbered as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let's have a look at the first exercise. It's called Plain Horizontal Inversion. In this exercise, I place my first finger on the first string, first fret. As you can see, that I'm putting adequate pressure with the help of my thumb at the neck. Second finger on the second fret, first string again. 3rd finger on the 3rd fret, 1st string and finally the 4th finger on the 4th fret, 1st string Reverse 4th finger on the 4th fret, 1st string 3rd finger on the 3rd fret, 1st string 2nd finger on the 2nd fret, 1st string and finally the 1st finger on the 1st string, 1st fret Repeat the exercise on the rest of the strings Faster, it sounds like the second exercise is known as alternate horizontal inversion it's quite similar to the first one but the main difference is there are skip notes in between in order to pick up alternate notes place your first finger on the first string first fret now instead of playing the 2nd fret, skip that note and play the 3rd fret directly on the same string with the help of the 3rd finger. 2nd finger on the 2nd fret, 1st string. And finally the 4th finger on the 4th fret, 1st string again. So essentially I am playing 1, 3 and then 2 and 4 which are alternate notes. Reverse, 4th finger on the 4th fret, 1st string. 2nd finger on the 2nd fret, 1st string 3rd finger on the 1st string, 3rd fret and finally the 1st finger on the 1st string, 1st fret Repeat the exercise on the rest of the strings exercise faster it sounds like the third exercise is known as vertical inversion here I place my first finger on the third string first fret second finger on the second string first fret and third finger on the first string first fret. So as you can see, I am playing all three notes in the same fret. Reverse, third finger on the first string, first fret, second finger on the second string, first fret, and then the first finger on the third string, first fret again. Repeat it on the rest of the frets till we reach the twelfth fret.
Play the same exercise on the top three strings with the help of a different set of fingers. What are these fingers? Second, third and fourth instead of the first three. Place your second finger on the sixth string first fret, third finger on the fifth string first fret and finally the fourth finger on the fourth string first fret. Reverse, fourth finger on the first fourth string first fret, third finger on the fifth string third fret and second finger on the sixth string first fret. Repeat it till you reach the twelfth fret. I hope these exercises will get you started on the guitar. In the upcoming videos, I'll be posting a lot of exercises for intermediate as well as expert level guitarists. So stay tuned and keep watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye and thank you. Hello everyone. I hope you liked my guitar tutorial video. To keep yourself updated about the upcoming guitar lesson videos, please click the link below to subscribe to my channel. To watch my previous videos, please click the link above. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below so I can answer them for you. I'll see you in the next video.